I think it's the best decision I have made in my life because now my life is better for it. And the advice that I want to give to all of you who are looking to make this career switch. Hello, you wonderful people. Happy New Year. I hope you and your family are doing awesome. In this video, I want to talk about, is it still worth learning to code in 2024? Every year, somebody always asks me. Before I give you my five or so reasons why it's still probably one of the best options that you should consider, at least, I am someone who started learning to code at the age of 35, and I got my first job at 39. It took me forever, but the ride was amazing. I am 43 now, and I've been working in the industry for, give or take, uh, four and a half years, almost five years. I've been loving it. It's really, really amazing and one of the best decisions I've made. And if I were to go back all over again, or if I had to make this decision again, I would still put in the hard work, the sleepless nights, the sacrifices, <laughs> and uh, all the hard work that it took to get to where I am today. And I'm still at the beginning of my journey, by the way. I'm not like some expert, anything. And I do this YouTube channel because I just love sharing what I do and what I'm learning. I don't make money off this YouTube. I don't sell courses. I don't even want to sell courses for people. If I want to make money, I want to make money as a developer or building a product that I could sell that solves a business need or problem. But anyway, that's besides that. But number one reason that I will tell you, at least for me, it has improved my life significantly. Before my job that I had before, it was a great job, but it wasn't the most amazing job. And I still had to physically work at a place. What learning to code allowed me to do over time is to be in a career that has above average pay scale, and more importantly, doing something that I really enjoy that allows me to work and be creative and work remotely. And there's so many other benefits that I have. And just to put things in co context here, when I, I did not finish college, I did not go through boot camp. I went the self-taught route, which I think is very difficult to do. And if you have the option to go to college, you should probably do it. Even if it's a two-year school, start working towards your CS degree. If you can't do that, doing a boot camp is cool too, but you could also do the route that I went, which is self-taught. But I just here to tell you that there's many opportunities and you don't have to pick one to get there. And when I started working as a developer, I got my first job when I was 39 years old. I started to code at 36 and my first job paid me 13.75 an hour. Now my uh, fourth role working for one of my favorite companies. I don't even know why they hired me, but I love it. And I pray every time to God, thank you for letting me get this opportunity. But I now make over uh, 100K, uh, just about a little bit over. So I'm not making like super bajillion dollars, but at the same time, I'm doing pretty good for myself. And this literally comes to the fact that when I decided to switch careers, I was like, let me do something that I'm going to enjoy, something that is fun, but also has the potential to make great income. So it took me four years to get to where I am. And there's plenty of people that make more money than I do. And when people sign out, they're going to make a little bit less. But on overall average in tech, you're going to get more money than other professions that you see. And that's one of the reasons that I really I uh, wanted to do it because it's fun and it's also allows you to work from home, allows you to make a little bit more money. And I know money isn't everything, but it's nice when you work at a place where within reason you're like, you know what? I don't have to worry too much about like crazy bills. I'm able to eat. I'm able to go on vacation once in a while and I'm able to like enjoy my life because I do what I like. So the first reason why you should consider if web development or switching into software engineering or programming is right for you is because of the new opportunities that will offer you it really has the ability to change your life. Now, the cool part about it that it's actually really, really difficult to do, but I'm not saying this to stop you and to discourage you, but I'm saying this because if you're willing to put in the work, you're going to get there. It will take time, you know, dedication, a lot of disappointment, to be honest. But once you make it and getting your first job is like super, super difficult, almost impossible. Once you get your first job and your second job and your third job, you're going to literally be in a position which will change your life for you and your family because it has for me and regardless what you hear on the radio on the twitter whatever the hell that people listen to these days um or spend their time in you hear about these layoffs you hear that there is nobody's hiring like developers no one's doing this no one's doing that they're just laying people off ai is going to take all the jobs that's only <laughs> like true like if you want to believe those stories but uh, the fact is that i've personally work at a company, my friend who works at a company where they all had layoffs. And guess what? 
few months later, those companies rehire people. It's a very common thing for companies when they overhire to lay people off and so on. It's not pleasant. It's not good. But let me tell you, when you have this tech skill and this ability to code and problem solve for businesses, you're still going to be a very valuable member of society and you will be able to get another job. But getting your first job is very difficult, almost close to impossible. And the reason why I say that just to set the expectation right, because although it's a very great field, I want to tell you that you want to prepare to work hard and study to get the things and achieve the things that you want. It took me four years to get my first job. And again, I went the self-taught route. I probably made a lot of mistakes along the way. And maybe some people could do it faster. But the truth of the matter, it has changed my life. And I know if someone else were to follow these same footsteps, it will change their life. And how do I know this? Because I had many personal friends who I met through this journey. I met this girl, Katya, who was a paralegal. She decided to, you know what? School paralegal is too stressful. The people I work with, they're a bunch of jerks. And she just started learning web development. She focused on learning React, doing front-end engineering. And I think it took her two and a half years to get her job. And she's now been working in the industry for past like three and a half years, I believe. My other friend, also Hugo's amazing dude, he's been um, in life, he was like, you know what? I want to try something different. He ended up going to boot camp and ended up getting hired. And now he works as a Python developer. So there's opportunities regardless what you hear. I have a friend who actually also owns a boot camp, and he tells me they constantly, every six months when they have a cohort that graduates, they have people finding jobs. And it's just the facts, right? It's people that are not getting jobs, maybe they're just having a string of bad luck. Maybe they're not applying themselves as much. Maybe maybe like I got lucky. Maybe some other people get lucky. But the point is, all you need to do is just get lucky once and to get that first job. And then moving forward, it'll start to slowly get easier and easier. And once you have some experience, you're going to be able to get a job somewhere else. And again, I'm trying to tell you these things because I want to be as honest as possible. And again, I'm speaking from the self-taught approach. I don't have a college degree. Maybe it's even easier if you do get a college degree. So this video is about, should you still learn to code in 2024? The answer is yes, but there's many paths to take. You could go back to university. If that's a path that works for you, you could go to your bootcamp. And I think the self-taught route might be the hardest way because you have to really work hard and you have to figure out interesting ways of how to prove your worth. And more importantly, the less pedigree you have, the more it comes to learning how to network, how to meet people, and how to find opportunity through your friends and family. And I know some people won't want to hear that, but that is just the truth. A lot of times people will hire you because they heard about you from people that they know. Just like if some stranger came to your house, you probably wouldn't invite him into your home. But if your friend came with your neighbor and there's like, yeah, hey, this is my neighbor, he's kind of cool. You'd be like, oh, okay, he's cool. He could come over. And that's the reality. Man, this video is already getting long and I could probably talk for another hour, which I will spare you and won't do. So finally, I'm just going to say, do I regret making this decision? That's been very difficult for me on my life. I ended up, uh, I put a lot of uh, stress on my relationship because I was constantly working, constantly studying that my fiance and I separated. And these are like, hard things to consider. If you have a family, if you have, a, you know, your significant other, you all have to be on board because making this career switch is very difficult. But with all the pain, all the things that I went through, you know, would, do I regret making this decision? And the short answer is no, I do not. And if I were to be in a place again, where like, what do I do in my life? I would still go full in and switch into learning to code. The only caveat I will tell you, if you completely hate programming, if you completely like tech stuff doesn't interest you, it's probably not a career for you. But if you have interest, you love learning new things every day, you love tinkering and being stuck on problems and banging your head against the wall, like for hours until you figure it out. And when you do figure it out, you feel so amazing. And sometimes you have made such a stupid mistake that you don't feel so amazing. But it's still very awesome. All kidding aside, I think it's the best decision I have made in my life because now my life is better for it. And the advice that I want to give to all of you who are looking to make this career switch, it is possible, it is doable. I know many people firsthand that have done it, but it is going to be very difficult because in life, there is no shortcuts. You cannot become a crypto millionaire. You cannot, you know, go to a casino, win big one time. Well, actually you can't, 
but the number of the people that actually achieve that is very small and tiny. And because of those people, we get this falsehood that there is a shortcut to life. But the truth is, you know it deep inside. You know that it's putting hard work over time with focused vigor is what gets you there. So if you're looking to improve your life, switch careers, I would highly encourage you to consider web development. And if you have any questions about my journey and what I have done, you could of course subscribe to this channel, ask me in the comments. And uh, with that being said, I just want to say thank you for watching me ramble for you know a good 10 minutes. And if you really enjoy what I've done or you have some complaints about my channel, like, they're like oh, look at his lights. He must be a YouTuber and that's all he does. Um, no. I spend more time coding, hence my YouTube channel is not that big because a lot of times when I want to make a video, what I do instead, I just code and work on stuff. And I'm actually going to share all the things I'm working on uh, as well. I'm not just going to randomly talk. I'm also going to make like coding videos of the things that I'm finding interesting and working on because even though I have a YouTube channel, I still just only share the things that I find interesting and hopefully you will too uh, because at the end of the day, I only want to talk about the things that are helping me learn to code better and the, the cool projects that I'm building and hopefully encourage you to build good projects. And so finally, the one superpower that I love about programming, a lot of people is like, well, why if you get laid off? Why if this happens? Well, the fact and the thing that I love about programming is that I could have an idea about a product, like a cool jujitsu app that, you know, someone could use to watch jujitsu tutorials and talk to their friends. Oh, wait, I'm actually building that. So that's the magic is when you have a cool idea, you could actually build a product and maybe you could sell it. But even if not, I still think learning to code in 2024 is still one of the number one recommendations for a career switch. So anyway, happy new year again to you and your family, and I'll see you in the next one.